Welcome back for my daily analysis videos with me, Richard Perry, market analyst at Hantech on Thursday, the 26th of November. We're going to look at cable and anything sterling really does still involve Brexit trade negotiations. Brexit trade negotiations are stalling a little bit, but still the two sides are in negotiation. But um, it's doesn't seem to be dampening the outlook for cable at the moment. It's still bumping up against 34 big figure, and that will be the next breakout area, certainly on a near term basis. The move is still running higher, very near term, but um, above 34 big figure would open the upside back towards that high of 34.80 once more. We've still got this uptrend, this sharp uptrend of the past few weeks coming in into play. That comes in around 33.25 area today. So intraday weakness still remains a chance to buy. You've got this string of positive candles or positive closes, certainly, um, on, uh, on cable. And we're still continuing to run higher. So intraday weakness is a chance to buy. You've got on the hourly chart here a little bit of a stalling, you could argue. Get the crosshair at 34 big figure effectively it's been bumping up against that for the last sort of few sessions um unable to really decisively break out yet but we're still looking for that breakout but i think you'd be looking to still run this uptrend higher and uh, use intraday weakness as i said into um, a chance to buy now you've got arguably that 89 hour moving average basis of support could, you could arguably use also the 55 hour, but you wouldn't really want the market to move below sort of 33 figure really to because um, if you started to move below that reaction though from yesterday, arguably you could give it a bit more safety below 32 uh, 90 area to really suggest that um, that would be the, the the immediate run higher, just sort of losing its way a little bit. So that would be the caution now. Uh, if you start to break that uptrend, maybe you start to lose some of the momentum and then you start to correct back. But um, for now, certainly we're still seeing this uh, all moving out. All momentum indicators are still in the right direction and looking positive. So to buy into intraday weakness, we're still doing that move. But just be cautious. Move below 33, big figure. We'd start to lose that um, impetus and maybe start to have a, a near-term corrective move. But for now, we're still looking to test higher. So with that in mind, I wish you good luck in your trading today. Click here to subscribe to our analysis videos. Go to our website, sign up for our webinars, and click to watch Trader Talks, our videos that give you top trading ideas.